In this video lecture, we are going to understand virions and prions from virology section. Let's start with the introduction. In 1971, Theodore Diener, a pathologist working at the Agriculture Research Service, discovered an acella particle that he named a virion, meaning virus-like. The first time virions were discovered by the scientist Theodore Diener in 1971, when he was working at the Agriculture Research Services, and he named them as a virion means virus-like structures. Virions consist only a short strand of covalently closed circular RNA capable of self-replication. Now, virions means what? Virions are the nothing but a closed circular RNA structure which is made from covalent bonds. It consists mainly 250 to 370 nucleotides and it is capable for the self-replication. The circular RNA normally exists as a rod-like shape due to intra-strand base pairing which forms double-stranded regions with single-stranded loops. Now the circular RNA normally exists as a rod-like shape because it intra-strand base pairing which forms a double-stranded regions with single-stranded loops. The RNA of a video doesn't encode any gene product so they don't or they can't replicate themselves. Now here this is a very important one. The RNA of virion does not encode for any gene products. Why? Because they can't do replication themselves. It is believed to adapt the host RNA polymerase for this purpose which synthesizes a negative RNA strand. Then it serves as a template for the synthesis of the other virion RNAs. Now when this virion enters in another body that is host then they will do their replication. The first virion discovered was found to cause potato span tuber spandle disease which causes slow sprouting and various deformities in potato plants. The first virion was isolated or was discovered from the disease known as potato tuber spandle disease that was occurred in potato plants. Now we can see these potatoes which is infected by the virions. These potatoes have been infected by the potato spandle tuber virion that is PSTV which is typically sprayed when infected knives are used to cut healthy potatoes which are then planted. Now see, like viruses, potato spandle tuber viruses that is PSTV take control of the host machinery to replicate their RNA genome. Unlike viruses, virions do not have a protein code to protect their genetic information. Now here this very important one as far as exams are concerned that is MCQ point that virions don't have protein code to protect their genetic information. Virions in general can be dispersed mechanically during crop maintenance or harvesting vegetative reproduction and possibly via seeds, insects resulting in a severe drop in the food availability and devastating economic consequences. Now, virions DNA replication occurs in two ways. First one, DNA dependent replication. Second one, RNA dependent replication. Now, DNA, DNA, DNA dependent replication occurs first, virion RNA is converted into novel DNA in the presence of reverse transcriptase. Then again, it is converted to virion DNA. Then this DNA further used for the replication. And RNA dependent replication is totally depends on the RNA directed RNA polymerases. This is all about the virions. Next topic is the prions. Now prions are the infectious agents composed of primarily proteins. Now here what we have to remember that their prions are infectious agents and they are made up of proteins. They contain no nucleic acid means there is no nucleic acid. They cause a variety of neurodegenerative diseases in humans and animals. Now they do not contain any type of nucleic acid and they are mainly known for the causing of or pathogens of neurodegenerative diseases in humans and animals. In 1982, Stanley Prusiner, a medical doctor studying Scarpi discovered that the disease was caused by proteinaceous infectious particles or prions. The first time prions were discovered by a scientist in 1982 when he was studying the scrappy disease and that time he discovered that that disease occurred due to the proteinaceous infectious particles or prions because proteins are acellular due to not contain any dna and rna procedures findings were originally met with the resistance and skepticism however his research was eventually validated 
and he received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1997. A prion is a misfolded regu form of normal protein that is PRPC found in the cell. This regu pro prion protein that is PRPC which may be caused by genetic mutation or occurs spontaneously can be infectious stimulating other endogenous normal proteins to become misfolded forming plaques. Now say this protein that is a rock prion protein which may be caused due to genetic mutation or due to maybe spontaneous mutation and it causes the infections. Today prions are known to cause various forms of transmissible spongiform encephalopathy that is TSE in humans and animals. Now this is structure of prions. Now we can see here left hand terminal domain and right hand terminal domain. Before this there is pathogenic domain there is a variable domain and in between this there is a conserved central domain region and now we can see here conserved sequence so this is structure of prions thanks a lot